Welcome third graders to how to predict bad weather. So before we begin this lesson, I want you to take a minute to think about what is the worst thunderstorm you ever experienced. So how do you know what the worst thunderstorm you even experienced is? So what made you think of this storm? Was it, as you see in this picture, lots of lightning, loud thunder, maybe it was the, the rain or the hail. What did the sky look like that day? Was it gray? Was it dark out? Was it bright out? Maybe you were able to see the sun? And was anything damaged? So were there any trees that fell? Were there any cars that were damaged? So before we begin this lesson, just take a few seconds to think about what was the worst thunderstorm you ever experienced? So, what are some clues that a thunderstorm is coming your way? Now, before uh, we go into it, take a look at life hacks over here. So it says, falling air pressure causes pain in birds' ears. So if birds are flying low to the ground, it almost always means a thunderstorm is coming. So right there, we get a little bit of a hint that clouds are low to the ground when a thunderstorm is coming. So... So what color is the sky or clouds when a thunderstorm is coming your way? That's actually a really big hint as to um, if a thunderstorm is coming. That's probably your biggest hint. So how high are the clouds in the sky? And even though the clouds are really high from the ground, you can tell when they are lower or really high. How does it feel outside? Is it sticky? Is it humid and hot? And where are the birds flying, as you saw from uh, life hacks over here? So, to talk about thunderstorms, we kind of have to go into different kinds of clouds, since all that precipitation is going to fall from clouds. So, we have three different types of clouds here. We have cumulus, stratus, and nimbus. And you can see all of them are not very intimidating. It really looks like a beautiful day outside. And uh, pose the question here, like, how would you describe these clouds? Do they look scary? And of course, the answer is no, uh, especially the cirrus clouds here, because they're like very uh, feathery looking and thin. So you know there's not going to be any rain today when you see clouds like this. Now let's take a look at cumulonimbus clouds, which are very dark, very gray, and as you could see from this picture here, there's lightning coming from it. As you could see from this picture over here, it could be very dark. So where it looks lighter here, the dark clouds will be moving towards you, and you know a thunderstorm is on the way. So how would you describe cumulonimbus clouds? That's something to think about going forward. Now I see them as dark, gray, and scary. How do you see them? So I'm going to show you a picture here, and I want you to take a few seconds and tell me if you think there will be a storm soon. So take a look at this picture. Take a couple seconds. And do you think there will be a storm? And of course the answer is no. We've got some puffy white clouds here, and there are no rain clouds coming through. So now I'm going to show you another picture and you're going to tell me if you think a storm will be here soon. So it looks a lot different than the last picture. And of course the answer is yes, there are some dark rain clouds on the way and it definitely looks like a storm is on the way soon. So let's recap. How do you predict weather? And I have a picture here of the birds from before with the life hacks. So first, look at the clouds, and are they cumulonimbus? Those are those dark gray, um, scary looking clouds. Do the clouds look low to the ground? Does it feel sticky and humid outside? And look to see if birds are flying low to the ground, as they are in this picture. So now that we have finished the lesson, there's going to be a video assignment waiting for you on Google Classroom. So if you click over to Google Classroom, you'll see here that we have a predicting weather form here. 
So you click in and you will have a short uh, Google form to uh, complete. So thanks so much for uh, listening to this lesson and enjoy uh, the video and enjoy uh, the Google form. Thanks.